Hi guys, this is my 32 week pregnancy update. Again, I am comparing my notes to when I had Scarlett and if I'm looking down, that's why, because I'm looking back at them. So let's get started. So weight gain. I still haven't, I don't know if like my scales are broken or what, but I still haven't gained like any more weight yet. I don't feel like I've put weight on anywhere else apart from my bump, apart from my belly. And the scales are showing that in total since I first got pregnant, I have only gained 14 pounds so far. Um, I have been ill again, which is just like ridiculous now. I am like hardly ever ill and literally this whole pregnancy I have had so many different bugs and through like morning sickness and things like that I've just been ill. I think I've like made up for lost time or something. So I had another sickness bug and this time I wasn't actually sick but TMI, too much information. I had really, really bad tummy, so really, really bad diarrhea, and just didn't want to eat anything, and I still just, like, I'm not really fussed about food, I just want, like, really plain stuff, and, yeah, it was just not nice, and I don't know whether the morning sickness has come back now, or whether it's just, like, the trail ends of this bug, but now I'm finding in the morning and like later on in the evening, I've got that really sicky feel like I did like in the first trimester. So I've done a bit of research and spoken to a few people and they said that, you know, it, it does come, it can come back uh, towards the end of your pregnancy, like the last trimester. So that sucks if, if that's the case, because it's just like, I thought I'd got over that and it's just horrible feeling like really sick and you just... Like I've had no energy at all and you just don't want to do anything and yeah, you're just kind of like plodding around feeling like really like bleh. So that's, that's not nice at all. Maternity clothes, I'm still trying to just like drag out my clothes. I did go shopping but I never found it, I, well, I didn't find anything. Actually I found one top from H&M that was really, really nice. But it was £30 and I just thought, I've only got like eight weeks left. I'm not spending £30 on something that I'm only going to wear for like a couple of times over the eight week period. So I didn't buy that. So I'm just in leggings and t-shirts and just trying to find clothes to wear. And yeah, my stomach is definitely getting bigger. I'm really feeling uncomfortable now. Like just sitting down, standing up. Actually standing up is probably the most comfortable as I am, but then obviously I'm really, really tired. But yeah, sitting down, so hard to get into like a really good, nice place, like nice position. In bed, I'm just not sleeping, tossing and turning. I have started using my maternity pillow, but for some reason this time, I just haven't quite like, got comfortable yet I think because I took I think it takes a while just to get used to and I remember last pregnancy like towards the end I just I was in love with this pillow so I think it's just going to take a while just to get used to like something in the bed but one of I suppose you might call it a symptom like I'm really feeling like my skin stretching I didn't have this with scarlet but it's almost like, you know when you have sunburn and your your skin feels really, really tight and you feel like it's almost like, like it's so hard to explain, like stretching apart, almost like ripping, or it feels like a knife is like going down your skin. That is how my stomach feels. And I've been getting, especially like on one side, and my stretch marks still obviously there, they're still bigger than last time, but I'm just putting on loads of bio oil morning and night. And yeah, I think they probably will get worse because obviously I'm getting bigger. But I just feel like there's no room left for her inside. Whereas with Scarlet, it wasn't till towards like the end, like I would say the last month where I felt that. Whereas now I'm feeling it a lot earlier on. I don't know if it's because she's bigger or 
whether I don't know like like in a different position like I'm not sure but I just yeah I'm like how can there be any more room left inside <laughs> she's kicking loads and the movements just feel different to Scarlett because there feels like there's hardly any room in there like my stomach is constantly moving all the time whereas before you kind of had to like concentrate and and it would only be when I was lying down where you could see like my stomach bob up and down. Whereas now, like I could just be like walking around or in the supermarket and you'll just like see it like move. It's like really, really strange. And if I have like my hand or something resting on my tummy, like I can feel like an elbow or a foot or a hand or something move against my body, like whatever I'm leaning on my tummy. So that's, that is strange, but it's nice. Um, do I miss anything? I miss lots of things. Sleeping, I miss just having the energy. I am finding it really hard. I think I said last time with Scarlett, just having that energy because she is so active. So obviously doing different things with her, chasing around just like simple things like she's just into everything and just like lifting her up and getting a change to go in the bath and like taking her swimming and and all those kind of things it's I mean it's definitely hard second time around when you've got a little one but my advice to anybody who has a little one and is pregnant again just get as much help as you can my mom has been amazing hubby has been away uh, quite a lot all of his work has seemed to come about because he does um like lots of events and they seem to be on pretty much all of october and november so he's been away in belgium and london and all different parts of the the, the country um and so yeah my mom has just been amazing I don't know what I'd do without her it's just like obviously because it's getting harder and then I've been ill and yeah so you just need to try and get as much help as much support and just don't feel like you're fobbing your child off or that you can't ask for help um, because you really really do need it so I went into Boots just to get a few bits for the baby and I noticed that they had a promotion baby offer on and it was if you spent £20 on baby products you got a like free baby bundle gift and I was like perfect because I wanted to get some water wipes so I used water wipes on Scarlett when she was a newborn and they were perfect for her skin she didn't react and they're just really like soft and gentle so they do like the big um, packs where it's like four packs of white packs basically and they're like eight ninety eight ninety nine, I think. So I got two packs of them. I needed to get some more um, baby vegetable and chicken stock cubes and I've looked everywhere. I'm, obviously you can get it online but in the shops. The only place I've managed to find them is Boots, and they look like this. So it's baby organic vegetable stock cubes. It's just that it's got no added preservatives, no added colours. There's like way less salt and sugar in them, and they're just like really good, especially if you're weaning. It says four to six months, and I can use normal stock cubes for her now, but I just. I just prefer to use these and I just thought, you know, I'm trying to get up to 20 pounds, so I might as well like, get them. So I've got the vegetable ones and then the chicken ones. And I also got, which I don't have with me, but I, um, I got some newborn dummies. Cause Scarlett had, I was like totally off giving Scarlett a dummy and hubby was just like, look, she'll need one. And we did have one for her, and then the first night, all she wanted to do was obviously comfort, not the first night, the first night we were home, so I think that was like the fifth night, um, we did end up giving her a dummy, and it definitely did help 
for that comfort. So I got some newborn dummies, which were a couple of pounds. So that added up to 20 pounds, which was amazing because I didn't get any stuff that I wouldn't have normally got anyway. And I got a free baby bundle. So they don't, I, I think the offer is like finished now, but Boots do do similar offers all the time, all year through. So I just wanted to show you what I got in my free gift in case the offer does come up again and you wanted to get it. So it did look really, really pretty yesterday and then little Miss Scarlet got into it and ripped it open. <laughs> This is my baby bundle boots. This is the box and it is sponsored by Boots Baby, Pampers, the boxes, this video isn't sponsored by anyone, um, Botanics and Sanctuary. So that's what the stuff is inside. And it tells you on the back what it includes. So it opens up like this and everything is so obviously it's all ripped because of scarlet everything is all inside and i really like the packaging because it's got like little stalks it's like really cute you could totally give this to somebody you know as a present if you weren't pregnant yourself but you wanted to get a present for somebody for like a baby shower it's like brilliant so these are the boops <laughs> the be super dry active stretch trial pack and there's a pack of three in there so I've not tried these nappies before but they're really good just to have in the cupboard if you've run out of your normal nappies so I will they're actually too small for Scarlet so the new baby I will can try them on the new baby once once she's in them these are the baby cotton large cotton wool pads now I actually use these to take my makeup off at night time because I love how big they are. I can just get two and I just like wipe my eyes and it just like feels amazing. So I needed to get some of them anyway and I think they're like two pounds. So it was definitely worth getting that for, for these. <laughs> it saves me buying um, some more of them. And then the next one is a Boots Baby 2-in-1 Bubble Bath. Um, and wash gentle and mild for newborns, it's hyperallergenic, dermatologically tested. I've not used this before, but I will definitely use this because I've just run out of my bubble bath, bubble bath that I use for Scarlet. And it smells really nice. I don't know what it smells of, it's like orangey. It's pediatric, pediatric, P, pediatric, I can't say that word, but you know what I mean, approved. It smells like orange, it smells like passion fruit, it's like passion fruit, orangey lemon, but it smells really, really good. So we shall try that. Next one, I feel like I've got a goodie bag. Um, I've got the... Baby sensitive wipes for newborns, so they'll be perfect. Everybody needs wipes, and if they are for newborns, for dry skin, prone to eczema, gentle on sensitive skin, fragrance free, no tears, mild and gentle. So I probably won't use them straight away on the new baby, but I might like give it just a couple of months because you're not supposed to use. I know it says for newborns, but. Um, I've just used the water wipes before and I know that they are really good and don't, you know, don't harm the baby. So maybe like after a month or something I'll, I'll use them, but they're brilliant. What else do we have? Baby two cooling fruit teethers. So they'd be really handy to put in the nappy bag when the new baby is teething. It's um, P, uh, B, BPA, I always get that confused, <laughs> free, so it's got no nasty like chemicals, um, three months plus, so, and they're like, I think they're like really cool, like babies really like them because of the colours and stuff. And we've got some Pampers sensitive wipes, so again, they are really good to have because of the size of them, good to have in a nappy bag and I can use them on Scarlet. And... And then inside you have this 
like little packaging on the little tissue and I'm guessing these are the products for mummy. So we've got the Botanics Refreshing um, All Bite Bright Eye Roll On and that will be really good to put in my hospital bag for the first couple of nights if I am in hospital obviously being up all night you want to try and use anything that you can to try not little puffy eyed so <laughs> that'll be really handy and then we've got the Sanctuary Spa Covent Garden Cleansing Burst Body Wash which is perfect because I actually had one of these and I used it all up and then I thought, I started to pack my bag last night, I thought oh I'll get this and um, put it in my hospital bag because it's like a perfect size and it's a really nice body wash and realised that I'd used it all and then when I got this box ready to kind of do this video and read that this was in there I was like that's perfect I don't need to go out and buy one so that's brilliant and then last but not least we have Sanctuary Spa again Covent Garden Ultimate Salt Scrub and it says, cocoon your body with our iconic Dead Sea Salt Scrub to leave the skin perfectly polished and gorgeous and moisturise. So that sounds really good. That sounds really nice. So I'll save that until after I've had the baby and I can give myself a good scrub. <laughs> and then there's a couple of little leaflets inside. There's one that's just talking about benefit makeup and then there's another one and it's my bundle of offers so it's a little booklet of different gift vouchers little offers and you've got mini club which is boots five pound off um, and these vouchers are until the end of November so you've got like a good couple of weeks to use them so that's good it's really good having like those little those little coupons and um, that's it for this video so I shall show you the bump at 32 weeks and I will speak to you in my next one bye this is the bump at 32 weeks it's from the side Thanks for watching.